Hello everybody, welcome to Certification Exam Rapid Training or CERT. And this is session is to do the introduction only to AZ-104, the Azure Administrator Exam. My name is Mark Grimes. I'm a principal consultant in Microsoft Federal. Note the shortcut on the right side of the slide, very easy, aka.ms az-104, and that takes you to the exam objectives. The purpose of this session, before we dive into each module to review, is to give you just a quick overview so you don't have to watch it any other time. I'd like to start with just a quick introduction again about myself, Mark Grimes. I live in Southeast Michigan, which is just north of Detroit. Married, have three kids and a brand new Siberian Husky. You see on the right hand side, my favorite hobby is bicycle riding. So hit me up inside at Microsoft if you're a bicyclist too, and we can connect on Skype or Zwift or whatever your favorite app is. I've been a Microsoft trainer for about 23 years, so it's a passion of mine, and that's why I love doing these. I also just celebrated 10 years at Microsoft, and previous to that was at a gold partner, uh, Sujet and Cap Gemini. I blog and, and tweet. My blog is at aka.ms slash my name, Mark Grimes. And uh, in addition to a lot of Azure, Azure Stack stuff, I also have a lot of um, health and nutrition things. That's another passion of mine that I do. So if you're interested in that, go check out my blog. So the objectives in this is really to get you ready for preparing for the exam. So I'm going to give you a little bit more in this session about kind of the big picture overview about how to prepare. So a lot of people say, Mark, how much level of effort is required to do this? So what I tell people it depends what range you're at. If you are someone who has never touched Azure, you can spell it, uh, but that's about it. You got a long road ahead of you. And I would say your learning path to studying properly uh, is going to be somewhere, depends how fast you learn and how good you are at exams, but I would say between 40 to 60 hours of effort. So I know that sounds like a ton, but consider the following. If you break it down and reduce to the ridiculous, let's say if you took 40 hours on the uh, lighter side and you take a month or two and spread it out so you plan on an hour to two hours a night and so if you did that plus on the weekend then do a couple four hour sessions uh, you can easily do 40 to 60 hours even working an eight hour day what I've done typically is if I have a little break maybe a longer three-day vacation and I've done my hour to two hours here and there uh, then I will literally just close myself in a room and study, 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 you know, for six to eight hours on Saturday, 68 hours Sunday, and sometimes take it that Sunday night. Let me talk about taking the exam because in today's situation with COVID, you may not be able to go to a testing center if you can. That's probably a good uh, idea. Um, but if you decide to take it from home, I finally went through myself and did this. And if you take the exam at home, you have to have everything cleared. You can't have any distractions by looking to the side. You can't be moving. You can't have any sounds because the test observer will have your mic on and the, and the video. And anything that gives them a hint that they think you're cheating, they will cancel the exam right away. So if you do it from home, Pick a room that's maybe not your normal office or clean up your office really well. Mine's a mess right now, so I'd have to spend a whole day cleaning it and have absolutely nothing because not only will you have to take your webcam up and show all around, before you start, you have to take your phone and take pictures at each and every angle around it. And then sometimes the observer will make you redo it and make sure you can't have any electronics, you can't have your phone, so you don't want any alarms, buzzers going off, that sort of thing. So just some things to think about in taking the exam, particularly from home. How do you sign up? Well, uh, sign up again is at aka.ms slash az-104. And on that page, there is a point to uh, get signed up. If you haven't done it before, you should have connected your Microsoft ID to your MCP ID. And then because of that, by doing that, you do not have to pay for anything. You don't have to get vouchers anymore. It's just kind of auto magic. And let's say if you're doing multiple exams, you can actually um, 
set up and sign up for more than one exam at a time. Another common question people ask is, what if I don't pass? That's all on the microsoft.com slash learn site. And if you don't pass the first time, you have to wait a certain period, like a week or two. If you fail it twice, they're gonna make you wait quite a bit longer. So make sure you check out that link. Um, another thing I want to take you to here real quick is the, just show you the Microsoft Learn page. <clears throat> so no matter what exam you're doing, so you can go to uh, docs.microsoft.com, I think it's slash learn. And what I did was I drilled down and if you're, there are two things you wanna look for. One are the learning paths, which most of these are on the aka.ms slash az-104 page, or I can come here and search <clears throat> and I can pick and choose. And these th this gives you a, an example of if you knew nothing, so wow, um, if we added these up, we got 613, 24, 35, 47, 58. So if you walk through all of those, that's about 60 hours of content. Um, again, if you're brand, brand, brand new, maybe not a great test taker, I might recommend to go through all those, but hopefully you're kind of good at one or more of these. Um, but if not, again, absolutely new, you might be in that, you know, 60 plus range, hour range to do it. Um, but there are some better ways, I think, and I'll talk about this uh, to study. It just, for me, it works better, and but it may not. This may be a, a better learning pace. And these are broken up the modules as well, so that helps out quite a bit. And then um, finally, so what I'm showing you is basically that AZ-104 page. And what you want to do is you wanna download this certification skills outline because notice up here, uh, they actually changed it, but they did just recently update this exam. And so we have these skills measured. These are kind of the broad categories. We have five categories and this is how the module recordings would be broken up. And one or more of these may be broken up even further if they take more than 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, but you wanna download that skills, certification skills outline. And the way I prepare for these things, when I deliver these sessions, I do it as if I was getting ready for the exam myself. So I get this and let's say, okay, I'm good at Azure identities, but I'm not so good at storage. So what I'm gonna do is take these line items and literally search them on Azure Docs. And then um, I can actually download those docs on the lower left-hand corner of those pages. There's a download link for a PDF. I open up the PDF and I search for each and every one of these things and make sure I know and understand. And when you're studying these things, I tell people, you don't have to read the entire article, know what it is, what it does, know some benefits, know some maybe tips or tricks if they have things in the notes section. Um, make sure you make note of those as well. This is how I break it down to create these exam sessions and it's the way you should study as well. So this is the links I just showed you. I have them on this slide, which I will upload. The other important thing uh, finally to mention is on this slide deck, um, there are multiple animations and that animation is actually, I didn't update it, but I have some blue diamonds, not blue circles this time. So there's multiple slides with multiple animations. I'm only going to show you so much uh, and, and, and try to pick and choose either the newest content or things that I think may not be so obvious to you. This deck has much, much more. So when you get the deck, you can then see everything else. And in the study prep that I did, I basically create hyperlinks to those articles. So again, it gives you a little shortcut way of doing the study. And so I've kind of done the pre-prep work for you. This deck is a tool. You study those links, you go through them. Um, again, I mentioned here, you want to go to full screen mode. I'll show you why, because this has a zoom feature. And so as an example, let's see if I can do a short one. So if I just pick one area, I can say monitor and backup, it zooms to that section only. And then when we go through it, there should only be three or four slides in here. It comes back. So in the rest of the slides, what we'll do is we will start from this point and then we will record each of these five sections. Maybe networks will split it in half. That's it. This is the overview. You don't have to watch this again, but each of these sections will be recorded separately for your viewing pleasure. Thank you and good luck to you.